Hey everyone, this is the Chan Clan, and this is our review of the Mechanical Lockbox from KiwiCo. This is the Eureka Crate, and this is David sitting right next to us here, who has built this awesome contraption that uses a gear and a lock system with a key to hide up your secret trinkets and treasures. So, David, tell us what's up with this Mechanical Lockbox, and how did you make it? Well, basically, it's just a three-tier lockbox based on... Three-tier? What do you mean by three-tier? There's three different locks inside using three different bumps of the key. It's This is the only key unless you pick it. I don't know how hard it is to pick. I think you just... So you can't just put a knife in there and turn it? It actually has tumblers, that's what you're saying, huh? Yeah, so you can put it in. There's one, two, and three. Okay. That's all that makes it turn. Wow. Look at that, guys. It's like a portal. This door opens up, and you can crunch my hand in there uh, with like a razor blade. So, it uses a tumbler. In here. Okay. There is... I don't know how you see that. Let's see if we can actually put the camera inside there. Oh, barely. Okay. There's a metal. I don't know if you can see, but uh, right here, there's okay. like... A big plastic metal, uh, that's the three-part lock, if you look in the instruction manual. And here, this is actually the lock, so as you can see, there's the pins. Mm -hmm. This one has three notches, this one has two, and this one has one, corresponding to three notches on the actual key. So. so you're saying this is a real key with actually grooves that correspond into this tumbler system that actually locks it right there. You can see the bumps and the bumps have to be exactly right in order for all of them to line up and it opens. And if it's not right, then it doesn't open, right? Yep. So, um, Mechanics are pretty simple. It's just the normal key. If you were to put it upside down, it wouldn't work. So that proves that it's a pin. And then uh, it's attached by some. There's actually. So each one of these has a sticker on top. Uh -huh. Each one of these has to be able to slide back and forth. Yes. This movement. So then it was pretty tricky because you had to pin this while it was sliding around. So you had to pin all six of these and had to hold them all in place. And then it was even harder because I think you actually ended up pinning them when it was like in this shape and then everything was falling apart. But as soon as this gear was put in, it was fine. Uh, I had to troubleshoot a little bit because I put in the back part opposite. So I had to undo it all. That was pretty simple. It opens up inside. There's actually a lot of room you can put stuff in. Is there a back door or a secret door to it? Nope. It's just one solid box. I remember trying to push this all together, and it basically, you have to jam it, yeah, and it slides into place, and good luck getting it opened again if you lose your breaking. key without breaking it, right? Um, so it's basically like... How if you've ever put in one of those packages, you have to put one underneath while the other one's on top. Yeah, like folding, things. folding the 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 uh, box, the cardboard box it together, kind of right? So yeah, that's pretty much what's happening here. As there were two pieces here with these, so you had to shove these two in and these two in. So you had to position it and then slide it in, which made the wood creak a bit, but. That actually ends up making the box very sturdy, and then the gears cannot turn because this one will not move until it is unlocked. So you can put your like snacks and treats in there, and nobody can grab it yeah. unless they have the key. What what have you been storing in there? Money? Yeah. Gift cards? Christmas presents. Christmas presents? Yes. Gold bars? Bitcoin? Bitcoin. Yes. Yes. Highly secure. Bitcoin vault, right? Well, secure from people that don't want to break it. Yes, you you can write your Bitcoin wallet on a piece of paper and put it in here. Yes, you could store the pleather wallet in here if you feel. Yes, you can. And what what happens when the uh, key breaks and you don't know? 
you don't know where it is, you lose your key, or what happens if somehow you manage to lock your key inside of there? Well, that's a problem, and the only other way is to either... This part's sturdy. How about picking it? But yes, you can pick it by moving each... If you're good at picking locks, it should be pretty easy for you. Did they teach you how to pick the lock? Uh, no, but... Hang on to your key. They say except it's the only way to open your lockbox except for picking the lock. But they don't teach you how to pick the lock, huh? So, yeah. Obviously, you can just go search up how to pick a lock, but... And this is the only key that works, so you can always get another key if you know, brother or sister gets one of these and share the key. Except the only problem with that is that they can get in too, so if you don't have, if you have duplicates, then get, no. Yeah, you do have a jumbo lock with a jumbo key. Yeah. So... So interestingly, they had to make 20 plus prototypes, 13 keys were broken during testing, and the number of teeth on that gear is 32. There's 1.5 millimeters between the locking pins, but that's enough to keep your box locked, whatever that means. So what did you learn about during this build? Well, I learned how, if you go, Back into here, um, I think, I'm not 100% sure, I think it showed in like the beginning or something how a lock worked. I don't know mm -hmm. 100%, but I was like looking it up. But then basically, when I was building all this locking mechanism, I could see, you know, obviously this isn't like one of those regular locks. It's a but more but it is, no, that's how a padlock works. Yeah, it's a little bit more simplified, but that's the same. So then, when I look at all of this, and I see the keys, and then I can look right here. This is what happens, but so, when you put it in, it shoves all three up long enough, mm -hmm. and it will turn. So, that needs to hold up while it turns. Now, I think the reason why you can't just shove it in underneath it's because these ones shove into the bottom right. underneath here. It doesn't raise it up. Yeah. Yep. So there is just fitting in just how you put a key in that doesn't work and it just moves in, but it's hard to get out. I think yep. this, this one's easy to get out. So yep. then when everything's raised, you can easily turn it. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So you learn the physics and the engineering behind a mechanical lock, and that's exactly what this is. All right, parting words. What tips would you give to people making this kit? Don't screw up on the locking mechanism when you attach it to this part because I did that. I think I messed up the sizing of the screws, but it was really hard to undo. Okay, so be careful when you're attaching the locking mechanism to the box. Don't screw it up because it's hard to undo. All right, sage advice from David. Um, this is the Mechanical Lockbox by KiwiCo, part of the Eureka Crate. You can get this as a subscription, which will come monthly with all the other kits that uh, David's been building here. What other kits have you made? You made a... Uh, the Rivet Press. The Rivet Press and the Ukulele. Ukulele and the Perpetual Calendar. And the Perpetual Calendar. So this is the fourth in the series of Eureka Crates, and each of these... Uh, have ceased to amaze me. Uh, no, I've. Am I saying that right? I have been in awe. Let's put it that way, of the complexity of these designs for something coming out of a box. Like, remember these maker boxes? Sorry, David threw away this one this month's maker it's box. About the size of the actual. Right. Box. It's like all this stuff is inside a box, and and somehow it comes out more sophisticated and and more well built than anything that originally came out of the box, which is really, uh, you know, uh, a a uh, testament of how well that KiwiCo has invested in actually designing these. So. Uh, that they are a fun experience for the maker and the parts fit, the instructions work, and this is a uh, video uh, evidence that uh, these kits are pretty cool and they come out as, as uh, 
as advertised, if you will. So check out the um, Eureka Crate. The mechanical lockbox is demonstrated today. Check out all of our other videos that David is reviewing in his Maker Crates. And we will see you on next month's Eureka Crate. Subscribe to our videos and check out our playlist below. Thanks for watching.